Welcome to a brand new episode, episode 51 of PSI Math Series on ABCD. In this PSI Math Series, we will be going through questions that PSI students might find difficult to solve. Today, we will be going through question 1 of Worksheet 26. Just a side note, you will be able to find the link to the Google Docs for this worksheet in the, in the description below. Now, let's get started. There are a total of 20,800 books in the National Library and the People's Library. After three quarters of the books in the National Library and three fifths of the books in the People's Library were loaned out, there are 1,040 more books in the People's Library than in the National Library. How many books are there in each of the libraries? So for this question, we are supposed to draw something to visualize the question. Then this is what we we'll end up drawing. <clears throat> then okay, this is okay. Then right. Okay, in the national library, when three units is gone, and in the people's library, when three units is gone, three fifth and three quarter, I'll have one quarter and two fifth left. Then two fifth is actually um. 1040 zero zero more than 1 quarter. Okay, so this is something we need to take note of. Over here, just ignore. Okay, then we realize that for every 2 units of P, okay, for every 2 units of P, okay, uh, it's actually 1040 zero zero more. Correct. So every two units of P equals to one unit of N plus one zero four zero. This is what they're trying to say. So then we decided to convert N into P. Okay. So every unit of N is two units of P minus one zero four zero. So if I consider four units of N, right? Okay. So we have changed it to four units of N. What does this imply? I times 4 over here, I times 4 over here. So compared to 8 units of P, um, that this part is actually 4016 lesser. Okay, so this is 4016 less than this. Okay, because um, this is 1040 times 4. Okay, so I add this amount inside here. Then I will have 20800 plus... 4160 and this give us 24960 and this one will actually be equals to 8 units of P because I convert N into P so 8 units of P plus the original 5 units of P okay why because the P remains unchanged but I change the N's into P so every one unit actually equals to 2 units now because every one unit of N now equals to 2 units of P except that there's a bonus here, okay? But we add it in. So therefore, we realize that 8P will actually ends up to be um, as in 13Ps because 8 plus 5 is 13. 13 piece will actually be equals to 24960. Therefore, P will actually be equals to um, P will be equals to 5 units. Okay, so over here, right, it should be 13 units of P. So over here, a full P is 5 units of P. Okay, remember, this is one single unit. So just in case you get confused, you might want to use P and units of P. P is everything and units of P is just one, one small part of P. So therefore, this will actually give us the answer of 9600. And given that this is 9600, we'll be able to find National Library, which is 2080 minus 9600. And this gives us 11200. Okay, that's the answer for this question. There is 960 in the People's Library and 11200 in the National Library. Okay, 9600. Okay. okay, the question that we just went through is question 1 of worksheet 26. So there's two more questions available. This is question 2. <clears throat> just to take note that the number over here should be 1199. One, one, nine. Okay, just in case you download the 
unedited version of the worksheet. This is 199. Uh, the solution is Linda has 21. People cranes and Jennifer has 178 people cranes. For question 3, Samuel, Samuel has 55. Uh, 55 Texas and Janice has 231 Texas. So if you need additional help for question 3, feel free to refer to our channel. We'll be uploading the solution for question 3 soon, so stay tuned. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel. If you enjoy the video, uh, do leave a comment in the comment section below. In the meantime, feel free to drop us an email if you've got any challenging questions. You also welcome feedbacks and comments. Okay, that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Hope that you have learned this concept. And this is Miss J signing off. Bye-bye.